Hi guys, welcome to another Elementor video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We built this little e-commerce store with Elementor, the free version, a little while ago. And if you want to check out how to do that, I'll put the playlist below the video here. What we've done, we've added a free little plugin today to enable dark mode. So at the moment, we've got a light mode. And there's a little switch down to the right hand side here. If I flip it to dark, there we have dark mode. And if I go up to the top, let's get rid of that cart there. As you can see, everything's in dark mode. But everything's very legible. Let's go to the shop page and demonstrate it on there. I'll just show you this quickly, then I'll show you how to install and configure this plugin. Really easy. Let's go to the shop page. There's our shop page, and that's in dark mode at the moment. As you can see, it's perfectly legible. Stands out nicely for anybody in a low light situation. That'd be great. Let's flip it back to light mode just so you can compare. There we go. And that's how it is originally. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. So let's get started. I'm going to go down to the dashboard and undo everything I've done here and we'll start from scratch. OK, we're back to normal now. And as you can see down the bottom or as you can't see down the bottom, there's no longer a little button down there. So let's go to the dashboard. I'm going to go to my dashboard. I'm going to go down to plugins, which is where we are at the moment. I'm going to add new. And I'm simply going to type in dark mode, D-A-R-K-M-O-D-E. And there's several of them here. The one we're going to use today is WP dark mode. It's got over 10,000 active installs and a rating of 4.5. So it's obviously pretty good and it's pretty lightweight. So let's activate it. And once you've hit the install and activate, it'll take you straight to this page. If we start up in the general settings, we'll quickly go through. Yep, I want to enable it on the front end. If you want to enable it on the back end, you can do so by enabling this switch. But this is the back end we're looking at now. To me, that's pretty clear. I don't particularly need that, but if you do, that's great. And we've got our switch activated on the front. If you change anything here, you can save your settings. Let's pop down one, go to advanced settings there. Make dark mode default. That's if you want to show your site as the dark mode initially when people visit it. I'm happy to, for them to see the light mode and if they're in a low light situation, they can switch to dark mode. They've got some wonderful time based and sunset modes here, but they're only available in the pro. I'm doing everything with the free version today. Let's move on down to our color settings. You can actually change the brightness, color and sepia effects. Sepia is a sort of gives it a yellowish hue usually to images and things. And you've got a few presets to choose from. Let's switch this on. I was actually using the Sapphire in our last one. Let's flip that to gold. These, there's plenty of them here, but these are only available if you upgrade to the Pro. But these two work really well, or seem to for me. And if you want to use custom colors, you need the ultimate version of it. But like I say, these two free versions should cover most bases. And let's pop down, switch settings next. With the free version, again, you've got three little switches to choose from. And you can choose to show it or not on the front end here. Of course, I want to show it so they can they can actually do it. So I was using that one. Let's perhaps use this one this time. And you can choose the size, normal, small, extra small, extra large, extra, extra large, custom. Positioning wise, with the free version, you can do left or right bottom. I'm leaving mine on the right there. Well, that's for fun. Let's put it on the left this time. And as you may have noticed, you can custom position it if you've got the pro version. Obviously, if you know a little bit of CSS, you can target it and move it around that way. Now it's got a few little attention effects if you want. Now flicker, shake, jello, as you can see, they're all pro versions. I'm going to give mine a little wobble. Okay, most of these switches here are just available in the Pro and Ultimate, so I won't spend too much time on these, but if you've got the free, take a look, and it just gives you an idea of what you can do with it. Now, here's some great stuff, especially for um, WooCommerce sites and things like that. We've got a separate WooCommerce down here, but you can include and exclude elements by listing them here. 
comma separated. We've got some triggers and you can exclude pages and again most of these exclude pages and posts. The pages is only available in the Pro. Exclude posts. These are mostly only available in the Pro version so we'll skip over those. Performance wise yeah again it, it's only available in the Ultimate you can delay the JavaScript file loading which will speed up your site loading time slightly. Accessibility settings again ultimate you can enable or disable a keyboard shortcut that's quite a nice little feature control alt plus d and you can enable a url parameter to enable and disable the dark mode if you need to right here and you can enable dynamic content mode if you've got ajax filters or lazy loading images and things like this by simply switching that one on okay woocommerce you can exclude categories and products but this is only available again in the pro mode so we'll skip over that image settings if you want to you can enable these to have low brightness images on dark mode which is great in low light situations and things or you can actually grayscale them if you want to and have them appear black and white and you can actually switch out the images if you want to in dark and light mode but that's only available in the pro I believe let's click on one yeah that's in the pro mode okay video settings again you can do the same thing but this is going to be in the pro mode custom codes like I was saying before if you know a bit of CSS you can target things with CSS but again this is only available in the pro but you can go to your theme customizer and add CSS that way if you'd like to animation you can add a little animation between dark and light modes if you want to you got a few to try there. I'm going to leave mine on fade in because I think I've tried those before. Analytics and reporting. Most of these are going to be for the pro and the ultimate versions. And then if you need to contact support click that and it'll take you to their WordPress page. There we go. Okay when you're happy obviously save your settings. I'll close the site. I've got it open here. And I'll close that and let's open a fresh version and see what it's done for our site. And let's get rid of this pop up. There's our little switch there. Regular site in light mode. Let's hit the little moon icon. And there we have it in dark mode. And we're using the gold version today, as you can see. Let's put that in gold up there. Let's have a little look at our shop page. And again, that's pretty good. That looks pretty legible. Not sure about that gold riding on there. But we used the sapphire before and that worked pretty well. So for a free plugin, that's pretty cool. So there you go, guys. There's how to switch your little Elementor site from light to dark mode. And that's a nice little feature to have on your site. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.